Okay, hi. So I'm Claire Glenton, colleague of Simon and Heather's, and this is a sort of very quick and superficial overview of the circle components. So let's imagine a scenario where you have a bunch of decision makers that are considering a new type of healthcare intervention or any new intervention. And they've already commissioned a review of effectiveness, so they've taken care of that, but they also want to know how female patients in particular are likely to experience this intervention. So they commission a review of qualitative research, and that review is carried out, and it uh, results in a number of findings, all describing how women experience the intervention. So I'm going to go very superficially through how one would assess uh, our confidence in one of these findings. So, in an ideal world, what you would like to see in this review is a lot of very well done studies that are all asking very much the same question that your review is uh, asking and that are all showing the same thing. And that's also the situation you'd like to find yourself in in an effectiveness review. However, in many cases, what you'll find is that uh, some of these studies are not particularly well done. And in the circle world, that's something we would refer to as uh, a methodological limitation situation. Uh, in grade, uh, you'd often talk about a risk of bias situation. So you'd want to assess um, how much concerns you have about the methodological limitations of these studies. So another situation which you might find yourself in is that some of the studies aren't actually completely uh, relevant to the question you're asking. There may be some differences in the population or in the, or the intervention or other elements. And again, you'd want to assess uh, how much of a concern this is. And in circle, we'd refer to that as a concern about the relevance of the data underlying the finding. Uh, in gray, there's a similar component, um, which um, would be referred to as an indirectness problem. So a third situation would be uh, that some of the studies are not showing the same sort of thing, or it's really unclear about what's going on. So you're not getting a coherent picture, and that you're, you're struggling to, to uh, match the data that you uh, have in the individual studies and the finding that you've developed. And uh, in the circle uh, system, you'd refer to that as a coherence issue, and you'd again have to judge how, uh, how serious those concerns are. Um, in the grade system, you'll recognize this kind of issue as an inconsistency issue. And then finally, you may find yourself in a situation where you have very little data, or, very few, uh, or the data is so superficial and so thin that you really can't tell what's going on. Uh, and in circle, you'd refer to that as an adequacy issue. And grade for effectiveness, uh, the similar um, situation would be referred to as an imprecision issue. So you'd assess all of these four components for each finding, and then you'd come to, you'd come to a final judgment. And that final judgment would be expressed uh, as either um, having high confidence in that finding, moderate confidence, low or very low confidence. So again, very similar to the system for grade for effectiveness.